Hello world, Techno Sleuth Craig Chamberlain here. We are moving forward to speed tip nine in the Hello World series. I'm again gonna go over a, a quick service here that's uh, built into Windows XP. Uh, most of you might not have this service running in the background, but you might wanna know what the service does. Uh, the name of the service is the Windows Alerter service. Now, I don't wanna just jump in and say that this service is completely useless because a lot of the services that run in the background of Windows aren't useless. They're just only useful for certain situations and the Alerter service is one of those. Now, according to Wikipedia, the Alerter service is a Microsoft Windows service which is used to send administrative alerts. It alerts about security, access, and user session problems. Alert messages are sent from a server to a client computer and the messenger service must be running on the client computer for the user to receive alert messages. Now this is extremely uh, bad to disable if you're on a work computer and uh, your administrator does your uh, updates remotely or you have a central server that you log into. So if you boot up your computer in the morning at work and it asks you to log into what's called a domain and you have to have your administrator given username and password, you're not going to want to disable this service. Because, uh, it, it, because if they implement certain types of password policies, this alerter service won't be able to properly update you and you'll get all kinds of interesting issues. Really, you shouldn't be disabling services anyways if you're working in an environment where you have an administrator who's already supposed to be handling your computer issues. You can suggest it to them, but I wouldn't suggest doing it on your own. Now, that being said, also, this service comes disabled by default in the Windows XP Service Pack 2 and over. So if you do not have this service disabled, well, then you are grossly behind on your Windows updates, and you should be updating anyways. So this might be useful to you in the sense of you're going to be able to check to see if you're behind on your updates, and it'll also educate a little bit on what this service is. So in order to get that service up, let's go ahead and minimize that. Click Start, and then you click Run, and then you get this box here. Type in Services. Dot M S C and press enter. When your services come up, they typically come up in alphabetical order. If yours didn't come up in alphabetical order, you can click the name here and sort them however you want to. Notice mine is the alerter service right here on top because it's the first in the alphabet. Mine is already disabled. If yours is not disabled, then you want to check to see what your current service pack is on your computer because you're probably running an older service pack. To do that, you can right click on your computer on your desktop and click properties. And you'll notice under the system tab, it literally tells you what operating system you're running, which version, whether it's professional or home, uh, the version of it, and what service pack you're running. If you're running anything before service pack 2, service pack 2 is, is a good one. Service pack 3, I can see why people are reluctant to update to. But if you're running before service pack 2 and you're on service pack 1, I strongly suggest you do your Windows updates at this point. Now, to disable the alerter service, if you do happen to have it disabled, go ahead and right click on it and click properties. And for your startup type, you want it to say, it'll usually be on automatic or manual. Click disabled, click apply, click OK, and go ahead and close out your services. And you've successfully disabled your Windows Alerter service. I uh, hope you guys learned a little bit more about uh, that particular service in this episode. And uh, again, these services aren't going to cause a huge speed increase in your computer. These are called speed tips mostly because if you disable every little bit running in the background at a time, you're going to eventually start to uh, build up a little bit of speed. So I hope this uh, helped you guys out. And uh, make sure to swing by my website, www.pcmichiana.com, where I have all the free software I'm uh, talking about in my video series. Make sure to watch the series because you're going to learn quite a bit more about your computer and speeding it up and maintaining it and protecting it. And uh, all the software is right here available on the website. I got a new uh, organization method here so you can easier easily navigate the videos better. And uh, if you're at my channel please subscribe. I'm always encouraged by subscribing. I'm really happy you guys like my previous video and uh, leave comments if uh, you have any questions or comments or thoughts on uh, the series and how it's going. Thanks for stopping by and I look forward to talking to you again.